Hello, everyone. Welcome to Lee's Real Talk. I'm Lei. Back in November last year, the video of a Chinese professor talking about the CCP's powerful and influential old friends in the U.S. went viral. In the video, he revealed how the Chinese Communist Party uses these old friends to accomplish its agenda in America. So, who are these Americans? Who are exceptionally friendly towards the CCP? I actually found a Chinese wiki page called "Chinese People's Old Friends." This expression turned out to be an actual diplomatic term that the CCP uses to honor its helping hands around the world. According to the wiki page, the title "Chinese People's Old Friends" is the official title the CCP gives to foreign VIPs. Who are friendly to China on a long-term basis, and many have visited China numerous times. The CCP honor roll consists of 601 individuals from around the world who have been called old friends by People's Daily, the CCP's mouthpiece. This title was first given in 1956 to an old friend of the Chinese Communist Party. James Gareth Endicott, who was a Canadian clergyman, Christian missionary, and a communist, Endicott was born in China. While he was a missionary, he was also a professor of English and ethics at the West China Union University, and he was a lifelong supporter of the Chinese Communist Party. During the Chinese Civil War, he helped pro-communist activists meet and exchange ideas. He spoke at students' demonstration in support of the communists, and thus provoked criticism from the Church in Canada. Endicott was awarded the Soviet Union's Stalin Peace Prize in 1952 for his efforts in working for quote. Peaceful coexistence between the Christians and the communists. During the Korean War, upon returning to Canada, he charged the United States with using chemical and biological weapons. Canadian press called Endicott "public enemy number one." His college friend Lester Pearson, who later became Canadian Prime Minister, called him a red stooge. And the bait on the end of a red hook. When the Tiananmen Square massacre happened in 1989, he felt that the Chinese communist leaders like Deng Xiaoping were not progressive enough. In an interview shortly before his death, Endicott said that the Communist Manifesto is quote still as true as ever. Endicott is the first Westerner the CCP calls old friend, and has set the gold standard for the CCP's old friends in the West during the years to come. They are influential Westerners who are fierce defenders and supporters of the Chinese Communist Party in the West. The CCP categorizes them into four groups. Endicott belongs to the first group. Scholars and well-educated elite who have lived in China and supported the communists during the revolution. The second group consists of Western journalists who visited China and wrote favorably about the Chinese communists. The third group includes heads of large global organizations, such as the United Nations and the World Health Organization, who have helped. Pushing the CCP agenda, and the last group consists of heads of state and their officials who have done favors for the CCP. Of all the nations, the U.S. is the country that has the most heads of state on the CCP's list of old friends. Five U.S. presidents are on the CCP's honor roll: Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, George Bush Sr. And Bill Clinton, and four secretaries of state, including Henry Kissinger under Nixon and Madeleine Albright under Bill Clinton, are also on the list. In addition, some national security advisers and congressmen 
during the Bush and Clinton administrations are on the list as well. In my future videos, I will talk about how these individuals, the CCP's old friends in America, helped save the CCP during various crises. It's eye-opening, and stay tuned. Now, another person who is on the list is Bill Gates. He is the only American businessman who made the list. Bill Gates' relation with the CCP goes back to 1994, when he visited China for the first time to seek business opportunity. It was reported that the communist leader at the time, Jiang Zemin, personally took care of Gates' business in China. Microsoft began operating in China in 1995. Gates' relationship with Jen was highly promoted in Chinese state media. Jen's son, Jiang Mianhen, owns 50% of Microsoft China's online business through his company, Shanghai Alliance Investment. You can tell that Bill Gates' relations with China are unusual by a statement on the official website of the Chinese Foreign Ministry. It has a report about a meeting between Gates and China's Foreign Secretary Wang Yi in November 2018. According to the website, Wang Yi said at the meeting that Mr. Gates is Chinese people's old friend who cares for and supports the development of Sino-U.S. relations and has played a positive role in pushing the collaboration between the two countries, and that China appreciates his effort. Wang went on to say that China is willing to explore collaboration in Africa with the Gates Foundation, and both will contribute to the Belt and Road Initiative and development in Africa. It seems that the CCP and Bill Gates have a common interest. It's Africa. After the pandemic broke out last spring, Gates dismissed China's cover-up of the coronavirus and praised China in its approach for containing the spread of the virus while criticizing the Trump administration's handling of the pandemic. He said on CNN that Trump's travel ban on China made the outbreak in the U.S. worse. Bill Gates' words were extensively used by mainland Chinese media to justify the CCP's handling of the outbreak and shirk responsibility. Maybe that's why he is considered such an old friend by the CCP. You can watch my previous video called What's After Vaccines to learn more about Bill Gates, vaccines, and China. By the way, the CCP calls him Chinese people's old friend, but he is a friend of the CCP, not the Chinese people. Because in a totalitarian society, the government doesn't represent its people. It's at odds with its people. These old friends are CCP's friends, not Chinese people's friends. And I will be making videos about other old friends of the CCP. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share the video. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and have a great evening.